hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are diving into the world of supply chain efficiency with sap business network for suppliers whether you're brand new to the platform or just looking to sharpen your skills you are in the right place because we will walk you through everything you need to get started from setting up your supplier account managing orders to submitting invoices and tracking transactions all within the sap's powerful network so no more guessing or struggling with confusing dashboards we will keep things simple practical and beginner friendly so let's begin now first thing visit the official website which is going to be sap.com and go to the products and look for the business network suppliers there's going to be an option here to log in using your credentials and you'll be forwarded to this section we're in. If you don't have any account yet, this is the perfect opportunity for you to register. Click this small button here and you'll be forwarded to another page. Just provide all the information needed and then click the continue. After successfully creating your account, you need to. Now from here, there are three sections that you need to fulfill. All right. Number one is going to be the product and service categories. You need to provide all the information needed. Next is going to be the ship to or service location. And last is going to be the industries serve. All right. So for now, I'm selected all these. And then I'm going to go here. For example, I am looking to the media section because this is a tutorial. And click on the save button. Wait for it. Now, loading times may vary depending on your active internet connection. So make sure that you have already accomplished that and click the maybe later. All right. So that we can explore the platform itself. As you can see, you can streamline your processes to save time and cost. But for now, we're going to close it. Now, this is going to be the main homepage of SAP Business Network. You have the, all these sections that we're going to explore. Now, obviously, the home page is the overview or dashboard in the central hub that provides a summary of key activities like tasks, notifications, and updates. Of course, you might see some shortcuts right here to document spending actions and key metrics. The idea is you can customize all the widgets. If you click this button, you can add, remove, and click on the save to have more control over your dashboard the enablement section is going to be your go-to tools and resources to guide new suppliers or partners to connect and integrate within your organization you would notice that there's going to be a create button and you can create a non-po invoice all right so let's do that you'll be forwarded to create a non-po invoice for a new trading relationship but the thing is, the invoice new customer requires a customer code. All right. So if you click the invoice new customer, you will be forwarded here. For example, customer code is. And then provide the ID. From here, you can have all this create invoice. All right and then create the invoice itself enter the customer information but well, we're gonna skip that for now because we can click the cancel updating we're gonna go back to the exit right now we're gonna be dealing with the section for the store now, the store is essentially a digital marketplace where you can find apps, services, and extensions that enhances the Zap business network capabilities. You have all these, all right? So, but the thing is, if you want to have a Zap business network promote subscription, that requires a subscription plan, all right? But the key benefits and features are going to be all these. It's a verified status and profile badge dedicated insights and analytics. Of course, you can search, match, and respond to qualified leads and enhance SAP business network catalog tools. 
let's not forget the discovery there's going to be a drop down menu here you have the match and invited leads and all leads now this is where you find new suppliers or trading partners across various categories and geographies what it does it mean is that you have an rfq or request for quotation you can create or respond to rfqs to solicit offers from potential suppliers you can initiate relationships with new trading partners as you can see from the below examples all right so there's going to be an option for the workbench wherein you can access and manage all procurement logistics or invoice related transactions again you can track the status of po's invoice shipping notices and other business documents by going to the customer section you can customize the workbench you can add delete or rearrange tiles so that you can view and act on pending items for example approvals confirmations and a lot more we're going to cancel that for now we're going to go to the catalogs you have two catalogs here for the customer catalogs you can put in the catalog name like you can manage and upload supplier catalogs for buyer access of course, there's going to be the network catalog wherein you can ensure compliance with contract and terms through catalog controls. You have an easy access to goods and services with filtering and categorization. All right, you can get started. If you don't have any products yet, you need to click the download templates to get templates, all right, on your product category. Add the data in the click here, all right, please select English, click on the download button, and then add the product later, all right so we're gonna skip that for now and we're gonna go to the assessments basically this is a section wherein you can evaluate suppliers based on risks for example esg or environmental social governance criteria and certifications you can distribute all right or complete assessments for the business qualification or compliance and uh, checks last section is going to be the insights so it's a real-time visibility supplier performance transaction cycle times and other kpis so you can generate detailed reports for procurement finance logistics and a lot more which is you can identify trends right here in areas for process optimization so you have the views search trends catalog and of course discovery leads this is going to be for the business network you also have the Ariba proposals and questionnaires. I think like that, but that's going to be for another uh, platform, right? You also have the SAP uh, Ariba contracts. Let me click that very quickly. I right hear the Ariba contract management. So we're going to deal with this in a separate video, but for now, we're going to be focusing on the SAP Business Network. On the top corner, there's going to be the announcement, notifications, and your help support. All right. Ideally, that wraps up our walkthrough of SAP Business Network for suppliers. I hope this guide gave you a clearer view of how to navigate the platform manage your transactions and connect seamlessly with your buyers now if you're a supplier looking to digitize and streamline your supply chain operations sap business work offers powerful tools to enhance visibility automate workflows and build trust with your partners it may it may take a bit of getting used to but once you're in the flow it's going to be a game changer thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next one